We turn now to the coronavirus here in the U.S. and news this evening on yet another potential vaccine tonight. This one from AstraZeneca. So what's different about it? Could it not only help protect you, but could it also at some point help stop transmission of the virus? What Dr. Anthony Fauci is saying about that tonight. And here's ABC's Eva Pilgrim now. Tonight, promising vaccine news. UK scientists finding the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine likely not only protects people from the virus, but also has the potential to reduce transmission. Now that is really good news. It's very positive because we know the vaccine is the way, the way out of this. Oxford's early data not yet peer reviewed, revealing a single vaccine dose was 76% effective at protecting against the virus for up to three months. That protection increasing to 82% with a second shot given after after a new, longer 12-week interval. The study also suggesting that the vaccine can reduce the spread of COVID by as much as 67% after one dose, suggesting those vaccinated are unlikely to infect others. Today, the White House cautiously optimistic. I haven't seen the data yet. If that's true, that's good news. You know, yet again, another vaccine candidate in the mix. But reminding Americans that the current vaccines in the U.S. allow for a gap between doses of 21 days for Pfizer or 28 days for Moderna. If you miss it by a few days to a week or two, I don't think that's a big problem, as the CDC says. But I'd be concerned about delaying it for three months or so. In New York, a race to get back on track after that nor'easter. The Javits Center increasing the number of appointments to 2,200 today to get ahead of a backlog. You said you felt a sense of urgency to get the vaccine. I couldn't wait to get the vaccine. I've been trying so hard not to get this disease. It's terrible. But those more contagious variants still top of mind for health experts here. I'm not an alarmist, but this is as scared as I have been since the beginning of the pandemic. Earlier this week, we introduced you to 35-year-old A.J. Jackson in Alabama. He had the U.K. variant. He hadn't traveled. Tuesday night, the father of two passed away. It was very hard to um, come to terms with that, but I had to go ahead and tell her. You know, you know, Daddy became an angel, just like Granny. And she immediately hit the floor and started crying. It was just so bad. And a new study found that adults between the ages of 20 and 49 were more than 70 percent responsible for the spread in the virus in the U.S. last year. David. All right, Eva Pilgrim with us again tonight. Thank you, Eva. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.